All right, guys. Got the bug over here, and I'm at Greg's house. Um, Greg, your engine fell. Yeah, I know. So, Greg is an expert at removing feed up engines. How many times do you think you've put this engine in and out, or in any V dub engine in and out? Uh, 20, 30? Probably. Probably. Probably, seriously. So, you By just the time did. I was 16, I'd owned four V dubs. I've had four type ones. Yeah. And worked on all of them. Yeah. yeah. I got my first one when I was eight. Dang. So you just did the, the solid mounts on here. No, they're not solid. They're oh, urethane. urethane, yeah. My car doesn't have carpet in it, and like it's very minimal on interior. And if you do solid mounts, solid mounts are really the way to go for performance. But you, you, if you have any bearing noise whatsoever, and I don't mean like a knock or anything, but just a standard bearing noise, it reverberates throughout the entire car. So urethanes are really the way to go for performance, but also get a little bit more, you know, comfortability too. So it'll still be much tighter than oh yeah yeah so oh, yeah. i imagine this thing's gonna go whap whap and uh so he just did that uh and i kind of told you a little bit in one of the last videos that he's just redid oh. yeah <laughs> look at rise up out of the floor exactly um just redid the whole and actually he didn't even redo it this is brand spanking new for the most part the old one is is there yeah so <laughs> This is my old AS41 door relief case. And uh, looks good. Yeah. A little bit grimy. So just a quick little Volkswagen lesson here. And I'm trying to see if I can lay this thing out so you guys can see it. Um, on these cases, what had actually happened on this one, and of course both of these will go together, um, you have your camshaft journals here this is where your camshaft goes and it's upside down right now and then this is where your crankshaft would go on either side what i realized was is the end play on my crank which means my crankshaft was moving front and back like so it had a ton of end play in it and what had actually happened was is my front bearing so technically a flywheel side of the motor but the front uh, in relation to the car had spun inside of the case and what has happened, you zoom in on that Jordan, oh, you can yeah. see where that's, it, uh, ate into it, it, it ate into the case. And this case, unfortunately, there is absolutely nothing you can do to fix that. Mm -hmm. So this case is now garbage. Now, um, this is magnesium. Yeah, this is an old factory AS41 magnesium case. If it was aluminum, you could probably have somebody re-weld that and, and yeah. machine it down. But If it were aluminum, you may stand more of a chance of actually repairing it. But as cheap as these cases are, it really doesn't make sense. I mean, they're expensive, but you know. <laughs> I was about to say. But to have somebody that, do that kind of custom work would be right. more expensive, I would assume. Well, and, and you still got an old original V-Dub case, which is good enough, but now is. you've got this. And it is, you can see that in there. This is an MP aluminum case. I mean, this is as good as you can get, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, as really far as is. cases go. Um, anytime you're talking about performance, everybody knows EMPI, uh, or MP is as we call it. Uh, they're the way to go for V-Dub stuff. But this is an MP case. So it's a dual, dual oil pressure relief case. Um, it has been reinforced behind the number three cylinder, which is where these, these cases are known to have stress parts. Um, and the cool thing is, my old case was cut for 90 millimeter pistons and cylinders. Uh, these, you order them brand new and you just tell them, hey, I'm gonna run these these cylinders and they're already clearance for whatever size cylinder you wanna run and they're already clearance for a stroker crank. So obviously this being my first car, it's not going anywhere. And, and uh, I said, you know what, I'm gonna spend the money. So we bought a new case and it kind of snowballed from there. It's got all new guts in it now. Actually my crank's laying right there in the floor. Yeah. 
So uh, my old crank. So you got a new crank and oh, the case all, and everything was all all cut for 90 millimeter pistons. Is that what you've yeah. got now? And then you've got the MP dual carbs, dual carbs which look, dual carbs are the way to go. And um, this engine is now a two liter. It's 2,110 yeah. cc's and these dual carbs are actually too small for it. Yeah. So hindsight's always 2020. Eventually I'm gonna put Weber's on it. But. Um, but the Dang. whole stats on the engine, it's all new. I mean, you know, engine tins, obviously I kept those, but as far as the, the guts of the engine, it is new, everything. So it has an 82 millimeter counterweighted crankshaft that's all forced, 4340 forged, AA performance. Um, AA performance uh, rods, 5.4 rods that are forged. AA performance 90.5 millimeter pistons. They are not forged. That's the only thing that's not forged, which is unless you're running boost or you're running, you know, power adders, there's not really any reason to have forged pistons. Um, the heads are a new old stock set that had already been cut for 90 millimeter pistons we had sitting. The camshaft is an Engel W120 camshaft. And yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not like the most extreme one they sell, but it's, it's pretty good. And what was the lift on it? I can't even remember the cards over there in my toolbox, but off the top of my head, I honestly can't remember. I think it was like four something. 488. Four eighty eight. Four. It may have been like four eighty five or something. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty good size. I, I can't. I really can't remember. Um, it's good enough where you can drive it on the street. Oh if you yeah. You put one too big, it's made for drag racing. I mean, cams are great, but they're they're they're. I'm not gonna say they're useless on the street, but if you get a street one, they're good. If you go exactly. get a race cam for the street, you're gonna have more issues keeping it running than anything else. Yeah, so uh, flywheel has been lightened. I went ahead and bought an aftermarket flywheel for it. And then we put the old clutch on the car, which was a good clutch, it was a stock style clutch, and it slipped it to death. Yeah. Uh, slipped it really bad. So I ended up buying a stage two clutch and putting on the car, and uh, it does great. Yeah, then the... This is the new clutch in there. Yeah, clutch and pressure plate there. All, all nice and pretty. And yeah, so the older clutch uh, was slipping as soon as you got it done. They just put it in the car, everything was running, everything First was going. Time we went to drive. And it wow, it was it, the clutch itself, the spring pressure and the clutch was not grippy enough to handle the engine. And you got huge tires. I mean, those are huge. Oh yeah. I would um, this thing feels amazing. Um, it the uh i mean it's a it's a really stout motor i mean 2110 is is huge um this thing is the fastest one i've ever owned and it's got dual carbs and and stuff and we're, and we're thinking it's probably close to a 1700 this thing's a 2100 i mean um and the thing is greg's got these huge 31 31 yeah 31 1050s on here. I mean, these are way, way, way bigger than what stock bug tires yes. would be. And Greg and I um, were drag racing completely safe. On uh, a closed course. On a closed course. Yeah. yeah. Somebody else came and drove these cars. And his was still pulling on mine because this engine is that much more powerful. Um, so it's, it's pretty wild. If, if Greg had my size tires or smaller tires on here, this thing would literally just cut circles. I mean, it'd just be whoa, whoa, whoa. If it had a, if it had a locker in it. Uh, we should do that sometime. And I'm, 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 I'm actually intending on putting a locker in it. Uh, it'll, yeah, I think it would spin the tire. I think it would, if it had stock size wheels, you know. Um, and and Greg's been working on it here and there. Um, one thing that is new, he actually got these seats from me. So y'all may remember these. I got these uh, for, I guess the Acura or the Civic, yeah, one of the yeah. two. But these these are the Type R Integra seats, which is really where the basis of most racing seats come from. Most most racing seats you see are literally just Type R Honda seats because they're that good. So those look really, really good in there with the red seat belts. Um, so he's been working on little stuff here and there and getting stuff right because when, when it got sold and been gone for 12 years, uh, things uh, were not worn out. Just, no, it wasn't worn out. It just, it just got old. It got sat, it sat and it got neglected, basically. Yeah. But it sat outside as an advertising piece and it sat there. And uh, the, the elements, unfortunately, weren't tied to it. Basically, everything rubber on the car is rotten. 
My goal right now is trying to go through and get it drivable so I can drive it and enjoy it. And then I'm actually gonna get it reliable and then I'm gonna go back and start doing cosmetics. So far, uh, so basically all the rubber was gone. The car has all new brake lines, all new fluids, um, new seats, engine's totally new. The reason the engine's off right now is I'm changing all of the engine transaxle mounts. Shifter bushing got replaced. Uh, ignition switch got replaced. We're pretty much to the point now where it needs tires. That's gonna be my next thing. And of course, that's a little bit larger expense and I've just spent a couple grand on the motor. So kind of uh, waiting on that. Oh yeah, and my favorite part, it's got a muffler. <laughs> Hallelujah, I would like to slap the person that cut the muffler off of my car. Yeah, so check out this video of it running with the, the homemade stinger. So that video uh, of it running um, was after he hit the engine done and the, and the way it sounded. And now this one is with this uh, quiet pack that Greg and his dad actually made, um, which is pretty awesome. Fits in there perfect. Now uh, it's a lot more tolerable to ride in. And we actually, basically, we had a picture of the old style muffler and uh, we fabbed it up to look just like it. A couple of pieces of stainless tubing and uh, MagnaFlow turbo style muffler and rock and roll, you know. Cool, now you need to get the same back in. Yep. All right, engine is back on. Hit it, Greg. Hey. It runs. Man, this thing is so friggin' quiet. Mine is super noisy. Most B-dubs are chattery because they're flat tappet and they're usually a little loose. They're flat tappet, they're not hydraulic. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're solid lift. Yeah, they're, they're chattery. And most of them are worn out, but this one's brand spanking new, everything. So it, it runs like a brand spanking new motor. Mine's going tick, 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 the whole time. You can't even hardly hear mine can. <laughs> 